Okay. Hello, Wilson and Facebook and Instagram and all our friends out there. I'm Brooke. I'm an artist in residence with Art with a Heart and Healthcare. And I'm so pleased to be joined today by Dr. Asma. Hi, everyone. And today we are going to paint a really fun cactus, um, a sun loving plant in honor of the summer solstice, which is today. So, in addition to painting this cute cactus, you'll also learn more about um about the plant itself and the summer solstice so you should have um your paints and we'll get started with paint today um, you also have a glue stick and a tissue paper but you won't need that until um, the very end so for right now we're going to start with our big brush and our paint um we'll actually kind of have to get like talented hold hold two plants if you want to use the table, you can too. So if you have an extra plate for mixing, you'll definitely need that because you'll probably notice there's no green on your palette. So obviously, Mr. Cactus over here is green. So if you guys know how to get green, does anyone know how to make green? All right, if you said blue and yellow, you're right. So we'll make some of that. Go ahead and have that ready. Okay. So just be sure to have a lot of green and but leave a good bit of your blue because we're actually going to start with this sky. Sorry to backtrack, but we're going to start with this sky. So you should have plenty of blue paint left. My bad, I forgot that. We're gonna do the sky first. This is what I did last time. I trapped myself and I did the cactus first. And then you have to paint around the cactus rather than just painting the whole background first. So that is my bad. We're gonna start with the background because that'll just make it so much easier for us. So we'll just start with the plain turquoise blue, okay? And we are gonna fill up about three fourths of our canvas starting from the top. So. Um, that is about a little more than halfway because as you can see at the bottom we have our um, sand mound um, which will take up the bottom portion so this is just painting blue on our canvas and that is it just to get our sky so I find when I'm painting a sky, I kind of like to do horizontal back and forth strokes. Kind of looks like a sky. <laughs> You're doing great, Doctor. Just, yeah, just, awesome. I like to pretend like I'm buttering toast when I'm painting yeah. backgrounds. Don't forget to paint Pretty. a brush. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I like the extra colors in there. I kind of like the little bit of yellow splotches. That's kind of nice. Let me try it out. We, we, sometimes you learn more from, teachers learn more from their students than anything, you know, than students learn from teachers. So if you guys don't know, the summer solstice is something that is happening today, which basically just means the sun is at its highest point in the sky. That is if you're in the northern hemisphere, which is where we are. So when the sun is in its highest spot, that means that it's going to be the most sunlight of the whole year. So that doesn't mean that the day is more than 24 hours. Um, it just means that there's more there's more sunlight. There's just longer hours of sunlight, which is really fun. If you look out your window, maybe you notice it's looking a little extra sunny today. Oh, okay. beautiful sky. We have a, we have the big <laughs> like a little workout in itself. <laughs> Covering this whole thing. <laughs> that's all right. They're real easy to see from back here. Well, that makes that's good yeah. at least. Do we need any more blue? Do you mind having these more blue paint? Thank you. Hopefully, you guys don't run out of blue paint. I just have a really giant canvas. 
Oh, new up here. We have artists on every floor, so if yeah. you need more. Yeah, if you need more paint, if you run out, let let uh, your nurse know. Maybe she can find us, let us know. You can no, cover the middle there, too, Doc. Middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to paint the cactus right yeah, on top of it. You don't have to be super focused okay. on it, I guess. But, it, yeah. it dries really quickly. You're doing great. Are you sure you're not an artist on the side? This is my first time painting. What? Oh. Ever? Yeah, I so. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's huge. So excited. And we're capturing it all for yeah. all time. Posterity. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So, the reason I chose to paint a cactus today is actually because cacti, which is the plural form of cactus, love sunlight. So I figured they probably love this day, right? That's right. Yeah. Thank goodness for sunlight. Yeah. And they're really cool. I mean, they can they can just survive and thrive mm -hmm. on lots of sunshine and not even that much water. Unlike me, I feel like I'm, I have my water bottle like attached to my hip at all
see our, our, our land, because the cacti do not float in the air. They have roots, they belong in the soil, in the ground, or in a pot. Um, and so we're gonna achieve that, that brownish, light brownish color by rinsing on our brushes so we don't get blue in it. And if you're more of a flat brown person, you can do that. I kind of, I kind of like the, like it's, it's in a little, a dirt mound or hill or something. Cactus probably likes it too. Probably makes it closer to the sun. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use yellow and brown, and that's how we're gonna get that nice light dirt color. But do save some of your yellow because we will use some yellow um, kind of highlights in our cactus as well. So just save a little yellow, but um, we can use a you know pretty good amount of it because otherwise it, the brown can be kind of dark, might get a little lost in your blue. So the yellow really helps to brighten it up. Kind of a little. Do you mind giving me a little more yellow paint? Yours, yours is way less. I was. All my colors have kind of become one. Ooh. Yeah, it might be a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yours is nice. It's okay. Yeah. Can you more yellow? You can. Yeah. That's, that was good. Okay. I got a little green. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you've never done this before? Never. Really? I know. She made it better I'm going to take up a... Seemed like a natural. Yeah. Okay. Come work for us instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a little, it's a little greenish. I think maybe my blue got in there a little bit, but I it's, have some brown. Do you want some, a little bit more brown? Maybe. Yeah. Do we need a little, little spot? I think uh, my, my blue got in there. But it's got a nice olive to it. Yeah. Olive. Yeah. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah. A little. Okay. All right, so just gonna paint the whole bottom section. Just for the bottom part, you can just, you know, be flat and then we'll kind of curve it once we get up to there. A little more up on our paper. So we're filling the bottom. Oh, Dylan Bauer just commented on our live stream. He says, fun fact, cacti life cycle can last between 50 to th I'm sorry 15 to 300 years depending on the species That's yeah amazing I heard that I heard they can live up to 200 years so I don't know I, I but that would be even cooler if they could live that's incredible maybe they do I know that there's like those huge cacti like in Arizona the cigarros yeah. I bet those are amongst the the longest century living centuries long living plants there yeah yeah that's pretty cool so if you guys i know having a cactus or succulents in your house is kind of becoming really popular a lot of people have a little pot with a cute little cactus in it so if you do just be sure to put it by your um, a south southward facing window because that's where it's going to get the most sun and it'll be the most happy and they're good things you don't have to remember to water too frequently either. exactly yeah. it's kind of like the more you forget about it the better they're like that's they're perfect. totally cool living in a drought sounds like the perfect plant for somebody like me yeah it's it's my ideal plant too in my yard that, that there's no shade it's pretty dry, so I just have a succulent garden that is about the only thing that is happy right now. The other plants are like, it's too hot, too sunny. All right, trying to round this out, and it doesn't need to be perfect. Just, you know, dirt's always a little lumpy and not perfect, so don't worry about it too much. What's that? Go. Awesome. We're gonna hold it. it. Doesn't look as dark on the. I think maybe I should have given light. Maybe, but I think I think it looks good. 
looks good. Yeah. Okay. You're doing a great job. Your your dirt looks more like dirt than my dirt, <laughs> honestly. Man, you should get a, a better brown color. Mine's a little green, but it's okay. It's like the sun or the skies are just reflecting on the ground a little bit. <laughs> no, more science, reflection. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with the green color we made earlier. Um, I might add just a little bit more yellow into my green to just lighten it up. Ooh, got the brown in there. Um, Am I putting a little, uh, just some yellow in my, um, I love the green color I made, it's super pretty, but uh, I think adding a little bit extra yellow into, into it will just help lighten it up against the darker blue background. So we're kind of going to use yellow in replace of, replacement of white right now. And it, and it makes a nice um, bright green. Dr. Asma, have you ever been out west to Arizona? I have, um, Arizona and Utah. Oh wow! And I find I think that's the most beautiful place I've ever been to. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did it's you go amazing. to um, Arches National Park? Yeah. Yeah. And Zion and Bryce, it's beautiful. Yeah. The landscape and like you said, cactus everywhere. Mm-hmm. Cool. Sounds really interesting. Yeah, I love it over there. And so different from Florida, where we're flat, which is still <laughs> beautiful with this beach and the palm trees. Mm -hmm. there is, we are a watershed area. So I'm <laughs> sure it's a much different landscape over yeah. there. Okay, so. No alligators. <laughs> yeah, they have Brown snakes. snakes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah, okay. pick your poison. <laughs> I see what you did there. It's nice to see different beautiful things everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Get out, get out, see what you can. Um, okay, so for the cactus, we'll go ahead and we'll start with the base of it. I guess, can you see? Oh yeah, you can see it down there, okay. Um, so we'll start with the, the big part, which is kind of the body. I mean, to me, he kind of looks like he's got a body and then some like muscular arms and then a little third arm just for good luck. Lucky <laughs> arm. Um, so he is, Kind of a cylinder almost, like kind of looks like a pickle in a way, but then instead of making the cylinder round at the bottom, we'll make it to where it looks like it's coming out of the dirt. So we don't really want to show it on the dirt. We want to pretend like it's coming out of our dirt mound. So just make, kind of start with a line that can help, and then you can just build upon that. We'll make it thicker, and then we'll round the top. So. Just starting with that straight line, kind of figuring out where you want it to go and how long. So we won't make it go all the way to the top because we want to leave room for our cute little flowers that we're going to add at the end with the tissue paper. So we'll give a little um, few inches at the top. Just, But we want it to be pretty big since it is the foreground of our, our um, artwork. It's the main subject. So, cover this spot that I left right. Okay. All right. Do you want green? I think I'm, oh, yes, probably for the arms. Okay. So you need more. Do you have more, more blue, blue and yellow? Um, blue, yellow. I want to blue. She's doing really well. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. I know, right? We may have just found a hidden talent. Thank Dr. you. Osmond. It's so therapeutic too. I mean, I've heard of that, but now I know. It's it's different yeah. doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. And this skill can be used on furniture and other things. Yeah, that's true. It can yeah. be very practical. Creativity doesn't change. Sometimes yeah. the medium changes, but it's just like language, you know? It's yeah. just like a different language. It's still expression and has all the benefits. Kind of more of like a universal language. Yeah. Absolutely. One can appreciate it, see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cacti's gotten a lot of sun, I can tell. <laughs> oh, 
I think it's great without the arms. It looks like a giant pickle. That's what I was saying. It really does look like a pickle. I think you can crave one. All right, I might just straight. Actually, I have a lot of blue, so I just need a little yellow. Thank you. You need you need more yellow too, probably. Sorry. Just, yeah. This plate got a little. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Thank you. Do you need more paint? No. Yeah, that should be okay for this. Okay. I'm just me. <laughs> okay. So it, it doesn't really matter where you put your arms. I try to not make it like like super like um, symmetrical. Like uh, if I put one up here, I kind of like one down here. I don't really like it to be like on the same playing field. I think it looks a little more natural when they're not like on equal levels. So we'll go ahead and start. I'll just make it pretty similar to my example. We'll start with the one up here. He's, he's a pretty tall arm. It kind of reaches to the top of the cactus. Okay, do you have one joke? <laughs> let's, see if, let's see if you can get it, okay? So, what did the, um, what did one cactus say to the fancy cactus? Fancy cactus. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say ouch, but that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> he says, looking sharp. <laughs> I didn't get that one either. I usually like to guess jokes. Like my friend told me that, and I did not get it. Yeah, their thorns are normally they're so beautiful, and that's I guess how they protect themselves from animals. Mm hmm Yeah, they're actually like spines. That's what I was reading. So you don't really think of a plant having a spine, but they're like. Somehow they're the signs of the plant, but they are not fun to touch. I've definitely gotten a few thorns stuck in me. What is a, the garden? What does a cactus wear to a business meeting? Mm, I don't know, but he looks on point. Oh, he wears a cacti. Ah, <laughs> that's good. All right, so we'll do another arm, a little lower down here and we can it can be kind of smooth or you can add a, make it a little have a little bit like unevenness to it like a little lumpy almost because I mean nothing is really perfectly smooth but if you kind of like the polished straight look of it that's fine too I feel like I'm kind of going a little straighter um, lines on this one than my example. I, was, I feel a little bit more definition to it. Nice, yeah. Yours, yours got some muscles. We eat, eat all our meals and our fruits and vegetables and we get big muscles too. And then we'll put a little little one at the top. Some new growth. Yeah. It's always exciting when you get some new growth on our plants. But so, and yeah, and then I think in the United States, this is officially the first day of summer. Is it? I think so. But like in other places, it's considered midsummer. Like they're so it, everyone kind of has a different definition of when summer starts. In South America, we don't have summer. Well, at least in the northern part, we don't have summer or four seasons like normal. It's just a wet season and a dry season. Yeah. Yeah. In Florida, we have two seasons too. Yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> hot and hotter. Yeah. <laughs> hot and hotter. Florida has four seasons. We have almost summer, summer, still summer, and college football. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of those different takes. Uh, that's funny. Uh, so to add some highlights, kind of, highlights are basically just brighter points um, 
on our on our cactus. I'm gonna go in with a little yellow, slight green to it, but a little bit more yellow. And then by doing that, I can kind of create some lighter um, lighter lines that look like the sun is catching it, or there's just kind of different variations in color in the green within the cacti, the cactus. So if you kind of look at them, they are a little stripy. So that's just basically what we're doing now, giving it a little bit more realism. What did the what did the little cacti say to the big cactus as they were running away? Hmm. Cactus, if you can. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. But I'm, I'm going to need to add a drum roll to the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love these jokes, the ones in the back of the Laffy Taffies. <laughs> <laughs> From the popsicle stick. Yes. <laughs> I know, it was just Father's Day, so they're kind of like dad jokes too, in a way. Oops. It happens. Happens to the rest of us. Get some paint where you don't mean to put it, but if you have paint anywhere you don't want it to be, you can always just paint over it. And that is fine. That's the best part about paint. It dries and you can paint over it, no matter what. It's all trial and error, right? Trial and error. Cactus makes perfect. <laughs> That's good. Oh, nice. Liking it. Looking good. How's everyone else's looking out there? You looking sharp. Some cool, cool cacti. Looking, looking sharp. Looking sharp. <laughs> looking sharp. <laughs> On point. Oh, On point. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So let's see what we're going to do next. Next we'll be going in with our black outline and doing the thorns or the spikes. So that part will be fun. Um, and no worries if it's not totally dry because the black is, it's dark so it will overpower it. But just to be sure, I'll probably start with the dirt mound outline since we did that first and it's probably the driest. So go in with your smaller brush, and we're just going to trace along the our soil outline, and just putting an outline to everything just to make it pop. So yeah, the summer solstice is not really celebrated here, but in other parts of the world, they have festivals and celebrations and pretty sure they get out of work and everything, which I petition that we start here, but it's pretty cool. They have, they do, they always have a big bonfire because the fire kind of represents the sun and they have a lot of fun and they celebrate the summer solstice, which I think is pretty fun. I don't know about having a bonfire in the middle of summer though. <laughs> yeah, maybe not here. Can you have bonfires anymore? Are you allowed to do that over? It's like. Yeah, I think because sometimes it's so dry, it's dangerous in some places. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're in California, and, yeah. definitely don't have a bonfire. That's very I, grew, I grew up with Smokey the Bear on TV telling me every day that only I could prevent forest fires. Only you? Well, just me. How'd you get that magical power? I don't know, but I feel like he was really talking to me. <laughs> oh, great job. Okay, so now we can, we'll do our cactus. So we're just outlining it in black. That's pretty straightforward. And the line is not going to be perfect. 
So don't, don't worry too much about it. We're just doing the best that we can. <laughs> I actually got as a gift from a patient too, and I really tried to keep them. <laughs> but uh, I didn't know about the south facing, so it's possible that I didn't let them have enough sunlight. Yes, that is very possible. Or it's possible oh. I give it too much water. Yeah. Which is also a thing. Yes, I've yeah. done that before too. Yeah, you can kind of tell by how they start to look, and then hopefully you're like, ooh, I need to change something, and hopefully you can change it in time. They're pretty resilient. But it is kind of funny. They can survive in a desert, but they can't always survive in your kitchen. maybe heard the word succulent before. So a cactus is a type of succulent. That's, so some people use those words kind of interchangeably, but not all succulents are cacti, but I'm pretty sure all cacti are succulents. This according to Google, and we all know everything is real on the internet, right? So, <laughs> so according to Les Google, as they say in France, the saguaro cactus can shoot up to 60 to 70 feet tall. 60 to 70 feet tall? It's a giant cactus. Yes, that's huge. And survived for 150 to 200 years and is regarded to be the longest living cactus. In fact, one saguaro cactus in Arizona was considered to be 300 years old until it passed away in the 90s from a bacterial complication. Oh, wow. So, wow, 300. We were right about the type, though. You yeah. had the worms. And you said you went there, too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I didn't Our see cactus. the Sequoia cactus, just Arizona, the Grand Canyon. Oh, okay. They do have that type of cactus. Giant ones all over. Those things are huge. 60 to 70 feet. That's a giant cactus. Yep. And I didn't realize when you visit a place how important it is to like wipe your feet under and so on because then you carry different plants bacteria like stuff, pollen yeah. back oh. and bacteria back and you can make the plants sick just by walking through somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Because if you went to one place and then drove six hours and went to another, you take the indigenous plants one to another under your feet or on your clothing. That makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, That's why every time I come back from my family vacations, I have to answer questions about whether or not I was in an agricultural region. <laughs> I think. Yeah, so, I think uh, grab some black paint. I think they always ask you that on customs forms. 
Have you traveled to any farms? So you don't know mm -hmm. if we could bring stuff. something that could actually harm what we have here. Makes right? Sense, yeah. It sounds like that maybe was what happened to this cigar. It's a, yeah, it says a yeah. bacterial illness created by an accident, so I'm not sure what happens. They get sick just it's like we good. do, it's sad. Aww. Yeah. I hope there's a succulent cactus doctor out there. You can help them. <laughs> what did the cactus What did the cactus doctor say to the cactus? I won't desert you. Oh, <laughs> um, that was good. I like that. Thanks. That was on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> I won't desert you. Let's stick together. No, I don't. <laughs> stick with me. No. All right. So we're just gonna add a little bit more details to our cactus. So. Um, I kind of like to just do like we're doing a line and then we kind of briefly pick it up and then we start the line again and then prick it, prick it up, prick it up and then and then keep going. So it kind of just makes like randomized lines on there, not super uniform. A little bit. So this is in no way advertising, but in Arizona there is a business called the Cactus Doctor. Uh -huh. oh. The Cactus Doctor! They take care of fallen cactuses, transplanting cactuses from unhealthy environments to new ones, as well as um, something called skeletonizing, which is where they make them into like fossils. Wow. Whoa! That's really cool! Wow, that's good, good information. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> I wonder if any of being a children's doctor, if any of your skills could transfer over to being a cactus <laughs> doctor. I, I don't know, but I have been worried about, I don't know if you've noticed on our highways, there's this, these new creepers that are showing up. So it's plants that grow over the trees oh. and they're oh. killing the trees. If you oh. drive down the highways, just keep an eye out because I noticed it in my backyard and that's how I started looking it up. That's probably one of those invasive species they it were is, talking about. It is an invasive yeah. species that's basically causing a lot of problems with the current species. So mm -hmm. as it goes over it, covers the light and plants need light to grow. Um, oh, that's what it, yeah. yeah. The branches and so on are getting hurt. Wow, I hear I just thought it was just the city workers not doing, not doing the wrong moment. <laughs> yeah, it's so scary because uh, those big trees that have been there for a long time are being. Oh, when they get now. strangled, they yeah. start falling. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we're not careful. You know, there's the probably. Trees for our oxygen. Mm -hmm. yes. are, plants are very important. Yeah. But trees are pretty amazing. They can, they can like send nutrients to other trees that are struggling. So they work as like a big community and they help each other out. And so if their neighbor needs a little extra nutrients, they can send them some through their roots. That's amazing. Yeah. There's probably a lot of kids watching here that maybe have lived in other parts of the country. And maybe they're familiar with cactuses, but maybe even some that are from Florida. We have some cactuses, they're real little, yeah. They don't get very tall, but they're like round, and especially if you're familiar with like big fields in Florida, or if you travel down about an hour south to like the Stark and Keystone area, uh -huh. there's a lot of little cactuses down there, mm. and they can be uh, very unfortunate. My cousin and I were playing a game of Frisbee growing up. Uh -oh. We were probably early teenagers, and he tripped and landed right on one. <laughs> No serious injury, but it definitely hurt, and he definitely yeah. had to go to the doctor to get some of those spines taken out of his well, backside. You see children in the ER who get thorns in their mm -hmm. fingers and they have to take them out carefully, otherwise they break right. and yeah. stay inside. Are they barbed? Do they have hooks on the ends? No, but they just, once they go deep inside, it's hard. Um, okay. Maybe some, maybe, because they, they do get stuck inside too. Yeah. yeah. That's a fascinating defense mechanism for a plant to evolve. Mm -hmm. Oof, painful. And even if they don't seem like they're pokey, they probably are. Yeah. That's it's like. Safe to say, cacti don't like hugs. Left, right. All right. Your your cactus is looking awesome. This one, this part here, really looks like one I have in my yard. <laughs> like the same exact shape. You really captured it. 
Um, so next we'll do our prickly thorn. So not fun to touch, but pretty fun to paint. So um, to do that, we just kind of do these little lines and I either do like two or three or just kind of like different nut variations throughout the plant. Like, oh, I'll do one here. I'll do a couple here. So there's really no um, right or wrong way to do it. We're just kind of doing random thorns throughout, kind of like little bundles and then just singular ones. Um, and sometimes it does help to start from the end of the thorn to really get your brush um, to get the point of it because otherwise if you do it at the end it's kind of hard to have that point so I can start on this side of the thorn and kind of get more of a point on it. Sometimes I forget, and then you can kind of tell. But we can always go back and make them a little pointier. Are we gonna give uh, are we gonna give our paintings away today? Yeah, if, um, if anyone out there wants a painting. Unless Dr. Asma, you like to keep yours and frame no, it. No, and if know. anyone wants it, I'd love to autograph it. It'll be my first masterpiece. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna be the lucky recipient of that. I sure love it when that. kids give us their paintings. They paint it and then they give it to us as a gift when they're in the hospital. Is it we have them in our office as a collection. Yeah, That's I've seen some. I'm glad to hear that. You should stop by our office sometime. Our, our wall is wallpapered with children's artwork. Oh, yeah. I should look. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. 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 Across the street. I really like when they drop when like what we drop they drop portraits of us and things like that. I have some of those on my desk. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, I know you guys do an amazing job. Sometimes you have ivies in your hands and you're still drawing and it makes it a little harder to paint, but you're doing an amazing job. That's very true. Some some will even use their the hand they don't normally yeah. use. Learn new skills while you're here. All right. That's a good point. Good point. Good point. Oh, it took me a second. <laughs> just let it dry because the next step is going to be doing the glue stick and probably needs to be a little dry. I'm so impressed out there. I, I, I've taught lots of adults how to paint. <laughs> you pick this, pick this up really quickly. Yeah, that's good. I almost just want to put like a big smiley face on. <laughs> Happy little plants. Yeah. Should we check? Yeah. Tell me. So yeah. about drying this a bit? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, while it's drying, we can go ahead and kind of prepare our flowers, which we are making with tissue paper. So if you guys grab your tissue paper and just kind of like 
We're gonna have about like four flowers, so one for each top of the, um, for the base and then for all the arms. So we'll just tear off little pieces. They don't need to be super big. I just kind of tore off a piece like, it, it, it doesn't even look perfect. It's just a little piece. So we're just tearing off little pieces. <laughs> and we'll have four of them. Could be the drying team, dry, dry squad. That is actually very helpful. <laughs> so you guys need to fan your artwork too. That's a good, good little trick. All right, so we have four pieces. And we really just kind of, um, I kind of like to have a point and then you can almost just kind of like swirl and squish and just, we're just really making little, little crunchy balls of paper. That's pretty much it. So, okay. So yeah, I kind of like take a little twist and scrunch. Go. So we got those prepared. Twist and scrunch. Too, I think you can eat. Yeah, the, um, I have one of those in my garden, but it hasn't produced any like fruit or flowers yet. I'm not sure like how long it takes them to do that. I don't know, but I know it's I, uh, I, it's delicious. But you have to be careful. You have to look up which one you can eat. Right, don't eat the wrong one. one. Yeah. <laughs> so you have one? Is it? Do you just eat it plain, or do you um, use like drink the water from it, like a? Because I know cactus or aloe juice is like, or water is like a big thing and it kind of helps hydrate you. I don't know if you eat the whole thing. I've, I've never though. drink the aloe juice, but what we, I, I didn't grow up here and whenever we used to get hurt, we'd go to a backyard, open an aloe and use that as antiseptic. Yes. And, yeah. uh, but that was uh, before, so, uh, so, but it's thought to have some antiseptic properties. But you should ask your parents, wash your wound and use antibiotic ointment. <laughs> for like for minor things like a little sunburn yeah you know yeah a little aloe helps oh yeah when i lived down in south florida i used to i had some growing and every time i had a sunburn i'd go out and rub the aloe yeah rub some aloe on my shoulders and i think aloe is part of the succulent maybe yeah definitely this is succulent yep <laughs> i've had the aloe juice it's it's usually really pulpy yeah, if you if you just like if you do rub aloe on your face in the summer and then you accidentally taste it, it tastes really bad. So I've I've never tried the aloe water because I'm like I, I don't know. it's not bad. Yeah, they must sweeten it or like flavor it or something probably. Okay, so I'm doing my flowers. So I will pass over the glue stick to you. Oh, yours look good. Yeah, yours nice and formed. So you can, yeah, do a little bit on the canvas, a little bit on the flower, just however much you need. It doesn't take a lot. They stick pretty easily. And if little bits are kind of sticking out, that's okay. Let me see if you look. 
Yeah. That's perfect. It's realistic. It's super cute. I love the flowers. They're my favorite part. And the very last step we'll do is if you want to go in with your small paintbrush and your black paint and you can sign your work and give your artist signature and that will be the final finishing touch. Get to sign signatures your work. On it. This might be worth a lot of money someday. <laughs> oh, you have a pretty signature. I love it. So that is our summer solstice cactus project. I hope you guys had so much fun. And thank, thank you, you so much thank for you. Joining this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun, guys. Thank you, Dr. Esma, for joining us. Yes. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Yay! Uh, thank every you for following along. Everybody, if you did these, if you followed along with your paintings, we would love to see pictures of your work. We're going to be coming around soon with the artist to uh, take some pictures and see what you've done and collect any stuff, uh, old supplies that you want to get rid of. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful day.